This is lesson 24 on seven segment displays. Now the Nexus 2 board and the basis board have four seven segment displays shown here. Here's a blow up of them. And each seven segment displays has seven of these LEDs around here plus a decimal point. These are going to be labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G and you can light up any one of them to form whatever character you want. Now the way an LED works, here's the symbol for it. If you run current through in this direction then it gives off light and lights up and if you to do that of course you make this voltage larger than this voltage. If this voltage is greater than or equal to the uh, plus voltage then no current goes through so a diode is sort of a one-way street that you can use to light up uh, one of these LEDs. Now so as I mentioned to turn on the LED you make V2 greater than V1 in which case current goes through you'll need a little current limiting resistor here and if V2 is less than or equal to V1 then no current goes through and you get no light. Now seven segment displays come in two flavors so called common anode and common cathode. Common anode the anodes are tied together. This side of the LED symbol is called an anode and for a common cathode this side with a little bar in it is called the cathode side. Uh, those are connected together normally connected to ground so to turn on a common cathode you'd put plus voltages in A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They're shown over here. To turn on a common anode you would set the common anode side to some positive voltage 3.3 volts in the case of the Nexus 2 board and the Nexus 2 board actually has a common anode a type of seven segment display in which case you need to bring A, B, C, D, E, F, G to ground or put a zero in here so that the current will flow down through the LED so to turn on a common anode you turn it on with a zero to turn on a common cathode you'd turn on with a 1. So ours are going to be common anodes. So let's see how we can do it. A 0 is going to turn it on and so let's figure out how to make all of the uh, 16 hex digits. Uh, we'll start with a 0. A 0 of course we want to turn them all on and turn G off. So to turn G off, we put a 1 here and a 0 on all the rest, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So that make a 0. So to make a 1, what would you turn on? Yeah, B and C. So we turn on B and C with 0, so that makes a 1. A 2 would look like this, so we want to turn off F and C. So we turn on F and C by putting 1's there. To make a 3, we need to turn on turn off F and E. So F and E turn off for 3. How about a 4? Well a 4, we will make a 4 by turning off A, D and E. D and E. So a 4 is going to look like this. You know, we turn off A, turn off D and E. So that's going to be a 4. 5, so it looks like an S. We'll turn off B and E. Now a 6, we're going to only turn off B. So a 6 we will make like this, including the A up here. So we'll only turn off B for a 6. 7 is easy, we'll turn on A, B, and C. Make those zeros. What about 8? Yeah, 8 we just turn everything on. So all zeros will turn on an 8. How about a 9? Yeah, 9 we'll include the D and so we'll only turn off the E. Now what about A? A we just turn off the D. So we turn off the D, we'll have an uppercase A. And what about B? We obviously can't make a uppercase B because that would look like an 8. 
So we make a lowercase b by turning off a and b, putting ones on a and b. So that's the lowercase b. C, we just turn off b, g, and c, make a c. D, well again, we can't put an uppercase d, it looks like a zero. So we'll make a lowercase d, like this, by turning off a and f. So a and f, off. E will be uppercase, everything except B and C are on. And finally, F, make an F, we'll turn off B, C, and D, and we have an uppercase F. So we now have a truth table where the input's going to be this hex digit, 0 to F, and then we'll have seven outputs, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and we need to see how to make logic equations uh, so we can implement uh, some sort of a seven-segment decoder. We'll do that in the uh, next lesson.